players. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chizzy Dave Chisnall and the reigning and defending three-time Grand Slam champion, the Iceman, Gurwin champion who has three titles here over the last four years this is where it all started for him the event where he won his first major and then he lost and has largely dominated in recent years against Dave Chisnell a runner-up here in 2014 well Price has put in two averages of well over a ton in both of his group games so far including that 106 in defeat to Barney yesterday fired in seven maximums and some show-stopping finishes as well Chizzy meanwhile lost his opener to Barney as well. He was just off the pace, to be honest, but he was more like himself yesterday against Ted Everts. A 101.5 average, four 180s, and five of his nine darts at double hit. Two meetings this year, mentioned it with Laura a minute ago. One on the floor, one by Chizzy, the other on the big stage at the World Match Play, one by Gerwin Price. Winner lives to fight another day. Loser heads home. I'm excited for this. In comms, it's John Park and Wayne Mardle. Thanks very much, Emma. Yes, there's no mathematical shenanigans going on here. Winning you through. And that's the way that these guys normally like it. It's effectively the first round, John, of a, of a normal knockout event for them. Uh, with the provision that it's only first to five. Yes, not first to six like on tour, but a it, very short format. Yes. It, get you jittery or not. <laughs> well, you certainly have that need, though, to get a good start. Yeah. It has your full attention, as if your opponent wasn't enough to get that here. Yeah, there's no feeling your way in, is there? There's. You've played the old game, John. You know when you've thrown three or six, and it's like, oh, they're, they're little kind of warm-up, they're little liveners. You don't get that luxury here. Get a win price. Averaging 104 for the event, Chizzy 95. 99. Price playing quite beautifully. Barney doing a number, winning all three in this group. That's why he's through. We'll play Simon Whitlock in the last 16. The winner of this match will take on Danny Nopper. What I thought was quite interesting, John, was that Gedwin Price was already talking in his uh, pre match interview about getting the better of Barney uh, later on, because they can meet each other, of course. Getting revenge, if you will. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's something we thought might be interesting. Double 11 would have been interesting, but not the price. And it was nowhere near. We talked about needing to be precise at the start of a match. Well, that double was way off. This double is straight in. That's an 11 dart leg. Astonishing start. Dave just looks down thinking, I didn't do a lot wrong there. Dave Chisnell has missed 11 for a 12 dart, John. Hold of throw. 86. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's cruel. You couldn't have asked to really do much better except the one poor dart was at the double. They missed well off to the left on the double 11. Started with a maximum. 59. Dave Chisnell, and there we see the table. Forget the legs difference with Price and Chizzy. 99. It's absolutely irre irrelevant. The averages might be relevant, and who wins the match? Yeah. And they're really working on those averages so far. 40. 
Dave looks a little under pressure there to me. This is what an 11 dart break will do. Yeah, it's tough for Dave. It, you know, he's in a situation where he lost to Raymond, and it was a bit more of a silly loss than the way Price lost to Raymond. There was a lot of mistakes around the outer ring, wasn't there? As Dave, it's his second max. So in a way, Chizzy has more to wait, make up for here. Yeah. He let himself down more yeah. in the earlier stages of the group. Yeah, even though Price lost, he, he did nothing wrong. No, he looked good. Yes. He just wants revenge because, well, he got beat and he didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> to put RVB back in his place. There's a lot of darts to be thrown for that to happen. Double 19 now. Wow, it's really... Really good stuff when those big out shots are, are probables. Really wants another one. Bullseye now. Dave's eyes are not all that. He asks a lot. And it can stop the flow. Recomposing before going for the bullseye. Oh, he's hoping for something much better than his double 11 attempt. And it is perfectly centered in the ball. And a shake of the head for Price. He can't believe it. He knew he had that one dart at double 19. Could have prevented that opportunity. Is that one of the most central bullseyes you've ever seen, John? Absolutely. You, you just can't get it any more central. You've done it many times. You know when you throw a dart 59. and you know it's going in. That would have surely felt when it left the hand that that's got a chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He would have had to work hard to miss with that good of dark. If that made any sense. <laughs> yes. It was, it, yes. He had a good quarter inch every direction. He could have went further out and still been in. Yeah. All right. There was room for error <laughs> throwing at the bullseye. <laughs> I don't actually know the radius of the bull. But, uh, whatever that is, he had that to play with. Oh. We're back on throw, but Price is holding the aces in this leg, which is on the cheesy throw. So are we going to see another break? I find with with Dave, John, that with his 180 scoring, he's never really out of a leg, is he? Well, I tell you, uh, it applies to both of them, but yes. Uh, And especially when he gets a first one, and he always has a chance at a 186. Yeah. So that, that helps a lot as well. Yeah. And took out the 1 2 2. Price has already missed a double for a 1 5 8. Dave is not going to take it this time, but he needs to leave this handy. That is not that handy. I like the thinking, get it to 90 perhaps at least. Tops. For another break. Oh, that was a weak dart. Well, this has been the sloppiest leg so far, really. Tops. Can he get what Price couldn't? Yeah, it, his 18th dart was the first at double. Probably not good enough. Or is it? Double five. Ten. That was shockingly far off way. Yeah, I think he took offense at the imbeciles cheering. Or should I say jeering? No need for it. The players know like we do. These are these are massive times for them. Every dart's important, we know that, but when you start mucking around on the on the doubles, John, it the the, the tension just becomes greater, doesn't it? Exponentially. Yeah.
I don't know if this is a compliment or not, <laughs> which means it probably isn't. Dave Chisnell's very good at double five. <laughs> One of the best. <laughs> well, you got me doing it too. <laughs> we see the group standing. Pretty simple. Price, although he's third, doesn't matter. He wins, he's in. It's only by virtue of being up two legs to one that Chizzy's in that two position. As you spoke of Wayne. Well, not that he was out of the leg, but now he's back in. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, look at this. Look at this. The reigning champ, the world number one, like doing this. reigning champ things. Fun things. 96. Quality game. Both of them know that they're under the cosh. Looks really kind of dejected there, Gedwin. Just with 58. Because the, the state of darts now, John, when someone kicks in 96, that, that's a punishable offence, isn't it? <laughs> it can be. Exactly. Well, if you think of it in terms of, of big trebles hit, I mean, you, you could be done three to one ratio on yes. that. Yes. And that's significant. Indeed. Dave's it. Three one forties to go with his three one eighties. We're only in the fifth leg, and it's just giving him the one up at the moment. It may be a bad dart, but with price on two eight five, it's okay as long as he keeps straight. He's not going to go for the single ten, David. A good choice. Have you ever called Dave Chisnell sensible before? I've never called that going for a ball a good choice. <laughs> Price on 255. All of a sudden, hitting tops becomes that little bit easier when that's the case. I wonder if the winner of this is going to win it effectively with the the bullseye thrown for the who throws first jump backstage. Well, again, back to how crucially short the format is. Just not much wiggle room compared to what they're used to. No. Even at the lowest level of professional darts is longer than this. Yes. 58. That doesn't make this the lowest level, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the lowest level of straight Ooh, knockout darts. This is a round robin, so that's why they allow this bit, because the, they've had three cracks here, three chances to play. That makes up for it, apparently. But if you're Chizzy or Gerwin right now, you're not thinking this is all that fair. 91. And the reason both these players are in a knockout situation is because Raymond Van Barneville took care of the pair of them. Yeah, mauled by the Tiger, the pair. There's a good setup from get a win for a level game. Tops. No messing. It was always going to be easy after you have the two tops on the 99. Yeah, come on, you're not going to miss one. No, of course not. Never miss tops again. On the 
way to win in his world title. I, I never thought he was going to miss tops again. He went through that, the, the match of, I think it was the semi-final in 10 on the bounce or something ridiculous. Looks at ease, Price. Really does. I just get the feeling Chizzy's hanging on. The, the tension in his, in his body, whereas this man just looks cool, calm, and brilliant. And he's pulling ahead against throw. And that could be the most important three darts of this match. And it's Price with the edge. He's on 92 after nine. Dave may seem a way back 206 here, but a 54. Sheesh. Well, no, he did everything he could. You have to say that. And uh, I'm a little surprised with that choice. What a marker, though, John. What a marker this is. It's unmissable. He missed it. 62. He scratched his head after and so am I. I mean, he just took a deep breath and an uneasy one at that, Jizzy did, and he knows how important this is. So much riding here to get himself one leg away. Does he have to move? No, he did not. Price just kind of blinks and moves on. Dave Chisnell, a leg away. 46. Well, I suggested that 180 by Price might have been the, the most important three darts. It turned out the 174 from Chizzy might be in the end. 83. Dave didn't qualify last year or 2018, but he has got through the group. 2017, 19 and 20. And as we know, runner-up 2014, when he was magnificent. Lost to, uh, oh, what's his name? Phil Taylor, that's it. <laughs> oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. Dave knows that if he loses this leg, he has the darts in the last. And the way these two are playing, averaging 102 and 101, it's hell of an advantage, John. Yeah, and Price, he, he's going to feel a little disappointed because he made that great move mid-leg there, and he didn't take advantage yep. by taking out that finish. Yep. Price is in big bother here. There's the 180s that we alluded to. Needs another. This is incredible. Double 10. That would have been astonishing. Might be his last dart throwing it this year. Grand slam. They require 57. 17 tops for a place in the knockout phase. He can breathe again. Price, that is. You need a bit of luck, and get him in Price is just that it. But the darting drama doesn't stop for Price, John, does it? Because Dave Chisnell has the darts. He's still got to pull off a, a cracking leg here, Price. You don't feel that yeah. Chizzy's going to capitulate. He has the darts, Wayne, but he also has the knowledge he missed two match darts. Yeah, I know. But He's going to tighten them a bit. He also has the go back to the throw. Yeah, it tightens you. Oh, of course it, it does. wrenches your soul. <laughs> Price is going to have to come down in trebles. He's not going to have, be able to go trebleless in a visit. 
without some darting drama being added. But he can breathe again. He has everything to gain now. It's all bonus for Price right now. That's amazing. That really is. He should be out. He should be going home disappointed. And he's a playing and he's in charge. Who's in charge now, John? The man who can win in six starts from 2-2-1, two, two, Wayne. But he better, because if he doesn't, Chizzy's likely. Oh, what a leg of darts. He opened up this match with an 11 darter. And he took out 87 for that 11 darter. Can he end with dart jar vu? The reigning champion. Had a little stroke of luck in the previous leg. But this is how you wrap it up. That is just so good. That's what champions do. That's what reigning champions do. That's what world number ones do. Get a win prize swing. Push, come to shove. Yes, yeah, some may think he rode his luck, but when you break,